One of the perks of making YouTube videos in the camera space is that you get to try out a lot of really cool products, some of which you probably wouldn't even thought about trying. Wireless receiver kits have been a staple in large productions for years, and thanks to the innovation from manufacturers, products like this are becoming a lot more accessible to the masses. And well, recently, the guys at Hollyland were kind enough to send me out one of their offerings in this space, and that is the Hollyland Mars 400S Pro Wireless Receiver Kit. At first, I wasn't too sure whether a product like this would suit me, purely because most of the work I do is 99% done by just me, and I don't really have a production team around me. But after I started to use this kit, I realized how wrong I was and how useful it could be, even for lonely people like me. So I'm not going to delve too deeply into the specs of this kit, purely because there's a bunch of videos already out there that go into great detail about the specifics of this kit in general, you know, like all of the really nerdy stuff. Um, and you know, if you're interested in that, then you can definitely check out some really great videos on that already here on YouTube. But I will give you a brief whistle-stop tour of the features so that you're not left high and dry. The transmission distance of this kit is around 400 feet. They report that the latency is only 0.1 of a second, although I find it to be greater than that. There's different fan modes, so you can change the cooling depending on how quiet you need the set or how hot your receiver or transmitter is getting. And you can also power this kit via Sony MP batteries or via USB-C. There's HDMI and SCI ports as well for setting the feed to whatever you need to. So with that all out of the way, let's talk about how a solo shooter could use this kit. Of course, these kits are designed for small production crews really, normally to feed the video signal to an off-camera monitor for the director or to the focus puller who will also be pulling the focus wirelessly. Unfortunately, I'm not Michael Bay, so I rarely work in teams like that. However, I do do a lot of self-filming, of course, with these YouTube videos, and also when I do some at-home client work whereby I need to get a feed of the camera where it's mounted somewhere that's unreachable, and of course, I still want to see what I'm recording. And it's in these use cases where this product would really shine for me. For example, let's say I'm trying to set up a talking headshot for a YouTube video, and I want to add a bit of compression to my shot. So there I go, cranking my focal length to 50 millimeters or over, and lo and behold, I'm now miles away from my camera. What's great about this system is that you can connect both your phone and an external monitor, or any monitor that accepts a HDMI signal, uh, at the same time, so simultaneously. Um, and that means that I can essentially have the video feed going to my phone, and let's say I could chuck one of my external monitors over to the client, for example, and they can be looking at what I'm doing whilst I'm on the shoot as well. So that is actually a really handy and useful feature for my use case. I use my phone for monitoring a lot with this kit, and find the app to be extremely good, with a whole host of useful features like waveforms, histograms, focus peaks, and even false color. And therefore, after actually playing around with this kit and testing it for myself, I'd actually say that it's not actually just aimed towards big production crews, and people like me, you know, sort of solo shooters, will actually find a lot of use in this as well. Whether you are self-filming and want to get a feed of your video, you know, somewhere where you're quite far away from the camera, or of course, if you're on set with a client and you want them to be able to see as well. So yeah, I actually, after, you know, using it, I can actually see how it applies and can be very useful to someone who doesn't have a large team around them. Overall, I'd say that Hollyland have done an absolutely fantastic job in making a wireless receiver kit that's both reliable and affordable. Um, I've always found the connection to be quite stable and I've never had it drop out even when I have sort of pushed the limit of how far I'm getting from my camera. Um, so in terms of the transmission distance, I honestly have no worries at all. And like any wireless receiver kit should be, it is solid and works perfectly. Amazon Black Friday is actually coming up very soon as well. So if you are interested in getting this kit, then I would definitely recommend heading down to the description where well, there's a few Amazon affiliate links. Um, and I think they're gonna be running a 15% discount during Black Friday on this receiver kit. So yeah, if you are looking to grab one, then now will be a great time. But unfortunately, if you are watching this miles and miles into the future, sorry you missed out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you find it somewhat useful, entertaining, or interesting. And if you did, then please consider subscribing to the channel because it helps me out massively. And hopefully, I shall see you in the next one.